Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is straight out of Boston, Eric the King of Boston. So, we're back with episode two of the Oakland A's franchise. And we're starting that with the 2012 first year player draft. So, let's get right into this. I believe we're going to have, yep, the 11th pick. Pretty, pretty good pick. Hopefully, I don't really know who we have for, uh, in terms of, you know, scouted or whatever. But we're obviously looking for A potentials. So, you don't know his potential. He's a D, he's a C. Um, C, B. All right, so we'll keep that B. In mind, always I always try to look for A's, and then if I find B's, I kind of I don't know, just try to remember them. There's another B, two relievers so far that are B's. Another a lot of relievers in this draft class, and that's it. Okay, so uh, I think I'm just gonna take one of these guys. This guy already has decent hitting stats. He looks like he he's only 18 too. He really looks like he could turn out to be someone good. So I'll take him, and then maybe we'll take one of those B potential relievers. We do have a compensation pick. There's another. He's a starter. He's also 18. I might just take him too. See if we can get lucky. Because um, a lot of the relievers that we scouted that were any good were kind of old. So I think we'll take this. Yeah, I like this guy. Actually, I don't know. I might. This guy might be a little bit better. He's a year older. Hmm. What about this guy? Yeah, I think we'll go Ken Irabu. Irabu. And now we'll look at one of those B potential levers. Or, okay, maybe they're all taken. <laughs> um, I believe the only B potential guys we found were relievers. But that's not that big of a deal, quite frankly. I'm not too worried about losing out on relievers. So we'll just take best guys available, and then we'll take this Brooks Velasquez guy. Um, we kind of screwed ourselves over, though. Hugo Delgado, he has decent stats. We'll take him. So, we, you know, we kind of set ourselves up with guys that are kind of already C's, or hopefully, you know, C's or uh, D's or whatever. Um, just looking at the young guys, James Doyne, he's got good hitting stats, so we'll take him. First baseman, we could still use a first baseman, I haven't really found my first baseman of the future yet. Oh, we have Brandon Belt, forgot about him. Uh, more young guys, Orlando Ibarra. I'm always looking for guys who can hit well, because that's really what counts in the simulation. Oh, this guy's got good contact, so I suppose we'll just take him. Hope that we luck out. You know, at this point, it's kind of all luck when you don't have guys scouted. I'm always going for the young guys, though. I'll tell you, oh, this is a good contact shortstop. Even though I'm, I'm hoping Jerks and Profile will be my shortstop for the future, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to have options. Okay, so we have to... Do have to sign our guys. Sorry, Oh yeah, I need to put... I forgot to do all this stuff. Um, okay, I'm going to do it at the end of the episode, though. And I'm just going to not show it to you guys, because I'm sure you guys probably don't care. Um, okay, so let's sign our draft picks. Let's just see. C, 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 D, hikes. C, F. C, D. Oh, wow, this was a shitty draft class. Whoops. All right, well, we'll sign... Okay, we'll sign some of these guys to like one year deals and probably let them go at the end. Um, okay. And we'll sign this guy. And maybe we'll sign that James Doing guy. Yeah, we'll sign him. Okay, the rest we're just gonna let go. So I don't really feel like having guys like that on my roster. Um, so now we're gonna simulate to the trade deadline in a sec. What I'm first gonna do though is uh, update my trade block. Yeah. Okay. So guys who we are looking to trade. Possibly Grant Balfour, definitely Bartolo Colon, possibly Coco Chris, but he's hurt right now. Possibly Chipper Jones. Um Well probably not, because I just kinda wanna see if wait and wait and see if uh Mike Holt is ready. Uh other than that, none of these guys really have any trade value, so that's pretty much it. Uh so hopefully we can field some offers for that, I believe. That updated, yeah, okay, that updates automatically. All right, so I'm going to simulate until the trade deadline, and I'll be right back. All right, so uh, before I keep simulating, I want to do one thing. Um, so Coco Crisp has been out. He broke his ankle. He's been out for a while now. And his replacement, Michael Taylor, who's also on the DL, uh, yeah, here he is. He just got hurt. So we need to sign an outfielder because I don't want to play some of our young guys just yet. So I'm going to sign Manny Ramirez, hopefully again for one year. Oh, we have to release somebody, of course. Um, we'll just release a class A player if we can. 
Oh no, this guy is actually, he has like potential or something. This guy is 33 years old. Okay. So yeah, we're going to sign Manny Ramirez. He's not that good, but you know, it's Manny. So he wants a longer contract. Okay. Um, hopefully I can sign someone for a one-year deal. A lot of these guys I'll always want like huge deals. I don't really want to sign anyone too good. I'm, I'm just looking for somebody who can come in and fill in for a sec. Okay, this, okay Joey Gathright said he would. Alright, cool. So we'll put in Joey Gathright for now. Just plug him in where uh, Taylor was playing. Okay. And yeah, continue simulating. Alright, so we're going to be doing another signing. Uh, this time, Derek Norris got hurt. He's out one for two months, and our only decent backup is George Kataris. Uh, Anthony Wrecker is not bad, but he, I don't. I believe he's not on the 40-man roster, so... Uh, we're going to try and sign Ramon Castro, like a longer contract. Okay. Um, okay, well, in that case, I don't really want to sign anyone, so I'm just going to... Um, have to add... Probably drop Pedro Figueroa, as much as I don't really want to. I'm afraid someone's going to claim him, quite frankly, but uh, we'll put Anthony Wrecker on the 40-man. We'll have to move him to the bigs, because uh, George Katarris is going to be hitting now. Yeah, good times. Injuries, awesome, all the time. Gotta love him. And yeah, so I know I have to keep simulating. All right, so I'm stopping us one more time. We claimed Wade Davis off of waivers from Tampa Bay. That's good. And yeah, Kansas City claimed Pedro Figueroa. Um... So Wade Davis is the guy I wanted to put a claim in just because uh, he's not that bad. Wait, where did he? Oh, he's probably under relievers. Yeah, he's already our best reliever. Um, he's a former top prospect from the Rays who can certainly give it, give us a spot start and allows us some uh, kind of leeway with guys like... Wait, why is Braden not pitching? I just realized Braden hasn't been pitching all year. Yeah, we need... Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, remove Jesse Chavez. So now we have some solid starters, which I like. I'm gonna keep Davis in the bullpen though, because I'm gonna add. Okay, I do not have a full 40-man roster. I, I don't want to take Brandon Moss off, but uh, it's, it's tough, 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 tough. I think we're gonna have to take Evan Scribner off. Now that we got Wade Davis, it makes it a little bit easier to dump some relievers. But yeah, well, I had Dallas Braden. I just realized he wasn't been, he hasn't been pitching all year. Okay, so we're going to keep Davis in the bullpen, probably send down Tyson Ross maybe, and Dallas Braden will also stay in the bullpen, we'll send down Rich Thompson. So yeah, Tyson Ross, AAA, and Rich Thompson, AAA. Ah, okay, so that, that gives us some leeway in our bullpen. Um, and I'll move Davis to a middle relief. Okay, okay. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> Alright, so uh, before we get to the trade deadline, I just do want to see if we got anyone. Obviously, we got someone in the All-Star game. No one in the Home Run Derby. But we'll see who got elected to the All-Star game. I believe the, they do it realistically where one player from each team gets on. Well, I could be wrong. Alright, we got Grant Balfour. He's had a great year so far. 20 saves with a 1.83 ERA. I imagine that's going to be our only guy. Unless... Oh, oh. Jemiah Weeks. That's good to see. 274. Nine home runs. Pretty solid. I'm sure his stolen base numbers are up, probably up too. That's good. Okay. And now I'm going to simulate to about a week before the deadline. And we'll get some trades done. Okay, we are back. We are 46 and 50 right now a week. Uh, from the trade deadline. Now we started out really well, had a very good April, and struggled in May, and probably had a pretty even June. And uh, yeah, so our pitching has really carried us so far. And uh, looks like, you know, I mean, Anderson started out very well. He's been uh, struggling not too much as of late, but his numbers have certainly dropped. Parker's been solid, Cologne's been solid, Tommy Malone's really looked good, and uh, AJ Griffin has been solid. Good gay, looks like our. Bullpen's been doing mighty fine, although Sean Doolittle and Ryan Cook are struggling, but Grandpa Alforis was an all-star as we saw earlier. So yeah, uh, main guys so I'm going to be looking to trade in this episode um, are the guys I put in the trade block earlier, quite frankly. Uh, Cologne, um, possibly Balfour, possibly some relievers. We have a lot of 
uh, kind of freedom with some of our relievers. Um, and yeah, I, mean, I don't want Norris's getting potential to drop, but he's been struggling. Also, my, I would like to trade Chipper Jones, but uh, he is on the DL. He's hurt, so it's not a big deal. He's an expiring, and my gold is progressing nicely. So anyway, um, so I'll be right back when I find some good deals. All right, so the first trade we're going to be doing is Bartolo Colon and Scott Skysmore. It's basically a throw-in to make this deal work uh, for three A potentials. Yeah, man, the Nationals always fun trade partners. Jake Marisnik, Anthony Rendon, and Travis Diarnad. Diarnad, uh, Diarnad and Marisnik are former Blue Jays, so I don't know how they ended up on the Nationals. Must have been a trade for. Uh, some, you know, top guy or whatever, and really what this does is give us ca catching depth. Norris is struggling, and he has been hurt, so Darnod will be nice to be there. Uh, Rendon gives us just an extra option, you know, he's, he's only D overall, so he'll be coming up at a, certainly a different time than Ult will. And Marisnik gives us some extra outfield help to go along with Gary Brown, Michael Choice, Yohan Assessmentis, and Josh Reddick, so, you know, if one of these guys decides to walk or something or it just doesn't progress very well I mean Gary Brown struggled and by the way I, I did say I wasn't really too sure if this guy existed uh, last episode that was silly of me um, he is the hundredth on MLB's top 100 MLB prospect list actually I do believe this year they've had it like 97th so anyway we're gonna do this deal and uh, I'm gonna continue on from here all right so we are back and we found a really nice deal here um, the Royals are really interested in Steven Drew for some reason like they don't even do this deal for like man I don't, even, I don't know what it is man but they really like Steven Drew they like shortstops too Cliff Bennington drew some interest but Steven Drew uh, for Jake Odorizzi Mike Moustakis and James Paxton now Paxton knows Odorizzi are both a potential starters so at that point we've really stockpiled our farm system with starters for the future uh, and then we acquire Mike Moustakis who's a guy who although we already have some solid third baseman this guy is, is a machine. I mean, he, in the last couple of ones that, of these that I've done, he just becomes an absolute beast. And I'm really excited about acquiring him. Now, you know, part of me doesn't want to get... I think I might not get James Paxton. I might get Justin Smoke instead. Just because I believe... Even though Moustakis would lead me to believe that I might end up putting old at first base in the near future. Smoke might just be a good backup. Honestly, I don't even know if I want another player in this because I just don't want to be... You can't be too deep, you know? At that point, I would definitely have to start letting guys go. So, anyway, I can always stockpile the farm system, though, and then make trades later, which is why I'm going to get James Paxton. So, I'm going to do this deal. And, um, you know, that was originally going to be a deal with Grant Balfour. I'm still looking to trade because he really does have some value at this point. But uh, for now, it uh, looks like this will, you know, trading Balfour will probably be my last deal of the day. And until then, I'll be back. Alright, so it turns out that I'm not going to trade Grant Balfour. He's only 34 years old, so I think I might just try and re-sign him in the offseason if I can. And maybe trade him in a year or two, depending on, you know, how much I sign him for. But we'll see. Um, you know, I just didn't find any enticing enough offer, enticing offers. Um, so really, we've set a lot of guys for the future. And we don't have too many trade chips left. So really, for the next year or so, there's not going to be too many major deals going on. A lot of just re-signing. Uh, you know, reloading, stuff like that, and then, you know, maybe a year from then or whatever, we can start thinking about trading for guys like a Chipper Jones, but like, like a better version of Chipper Jones, if you know what I mean, you know, I don't know, like, you know, stars and stuff, so, anyway, um, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this episode, uh, let's just simulate past the trade deadline, actually, we're gonna have to, uh, mess with our lineups here and stuff after some of the deals we made, so we have a hole at DH, uh, I think we'll put Mustakis there for now, um... And definitely move Mustakis up. Yeah, we'll keep Inge fielding there. So I think I really want Mustakis in the middle of my lineup. So I'm going to uh, kind of screw the righty lefty thing for a bit. And I want Darinod catching over George Kataris. And I'm going to wave, or not wave, but uh, move Anthony Record down. Ah. What am I doing? Okay. So, and we're going to move Diarnod up right there. Okay. So we're going to try and copy that basically in the rest of these lineups. Ah, what am I doing? Uh, in this case, I want Mustakas at third and Diarnod catching. So kind of the same lineup there. 
And then this time, um, I think I'd rather have Moustakis play third base and Johnny Gomes DH. And then Darnod there, and we'll put Gomes out of Darnod. I can never pronounce that name, I apologize. Uh, okay, same thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also need to probably... I'm probably going to send down Brandon Moss. We'll do that, and okay. Yeah, I'm gonna send him down to double A. And then I can call, call up one more player for our lineup. So we need another middle infielder as a backup. Rosales is an option. How's old doing? C still, okay. Um, yeah, we, we definitely, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't really know who to call up, quite frankly. I want Ult to keep bombing it in uh, AAA and uh, have him call be, be called up in September. Maybe we can call up Josh Donaldson. It's not part of the 40-man, though. That's part of the problem. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Hmm. Well. I suppose, I suppose we could have kept... I'm not quite frankly. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anyway, maybe we'll just call up my gold. But I want to save his MLB um, service or whatever. So I think we'll probably make one more deal, maybe. Uh, just like a, somebody for some MLB ready. Maybe like Robert Andino. Usually, yeah. Utility infielder who the Orioles are always willing to part ways with. Uh, let's just find... If I can find like one of the, like a 30-year-olds that I have. This is going to hurt my eyes. Paul Smith is 25. Whatever, we'll just do away with Jeremy Barfield for Robert Andino. Yeah, they're always willing to part ways with Andino, who's not very good, but uh, the point is he can fill in as a utility infielder. So, yep, he's on the Major League roster, and he'll basically just be on our bench. Um, pitching rotation, we need to fill in Bartolo Colon's hole, so we'll do that with Dallas Braden. Uh, Odorizzi and Paxson are two guys who I definitely do not want at the Major League level just yet. So we're going to have to send them down to AAA and Paxson to AA. And then I think we have a room we have room for one more reliever. So we'll go to manage roster, go to relief pitchers, and just see who's in AAA. Probably Rich Thompson. Yeah, Rich Thompson, move him back to the MLB, and we're good to go. So anyway, I'll let you see me to the trade deadline. I believe probably going to have too many guys in a 40. Yep, okay. We will release Brandon, not release, but remove Brandon Moss, sadly, even though I like him so much. Um, we need to, yeah, Wrecker can go, that's for sure. And I think... Jerry Bly Bly Blevins Jeremy Jerry Blevins. I don't know why I say Bly Blevins so much. Okay, so now we can simulate. Okay, Brett Anderson's done being injured. That's good. Oscar Tavares. He's a a potential right fielder, but this is part of the problem. I don't really. I don't know. I'll negotiate this deal, but I don't really want another outfield prospect. Quite frankly. Um... Let's just go to the Cardinals, because the Cardinals do have some enticing prospects, including Shelby Miller, who I would love to get, but Tavares, Shelby, ooh, he gets Shelby Miller, who's already a B, so that'd be very nice. Um, we might do this deal then. I'm just going to even out the roster by giving up, yeah, like Shane Peterson. Yeah, we're going to do this deal in that case. I believe there isn't anybody else who I really want on this team in terms of prospects. But, yeah, Tavares, 19-year-old. That'll be good. All right, so we do one more deal. Get rid of Balfour. That frees up a spot in our bullpen. So I think we're going to move... Who's been doing well? I'd like to move one of these guys. I think we'll move Cook to the closer role, quite frankly. Uh, Shelby Miller is a B, so we're going to keep him... In the bullpen, I actually would rather give him some starting opportunities over AJ Griffin. So we're gonna do that. Well, I don't want Shelby Miller to be. We'll see. We'll have to monitor how he does going forward. 
And then I believe, how many pitchers is that? Five, nine, eleven. So we have room for one more pitcher, which is where Jerry Blevins would have came in handy. But all well, all well, all well, all well. Yeah, Blevins isn't, yeah. <laughs> uh, we might have to use a Tyson Ross, possibly. I think we'll do that. Yep. Okay, and we'll throw him in as a middle reliever. Ah, this always does this. Okay. We'll move, we'll move Wade Davis to the setup room. Okay, so that's good and good. Ended up getting a pretty solid deal. Oh, of course we have 40. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, this is so annoying sometimes. Michael Taylor. Yeah, we'll move Michael Taylor. He might get claimed, but I'm not too worried about that. Quite frankly, of course we have 26 guys in our 25 men. Yeah, Tavares is there. He needs to not be... Uh, he's not very good yet, so we're actually going to move him to double A. Hopefully he has a good year down there. And Barton's hurt, that's fine. Blevins cleared waiver, so did Wrecker and Brandon Moss. That's good, we retain all of them on our roster. Michael Taylor got claimed, that's perfectly fine. And we close out July with a loss. <laughs> And then, yeah, a bunch of waivers, which we'll probably put in claims on some of these guys. Actually, I'll go do that while I'm on camera, just because of it, but, uh... Anyway, pending transactions. Alright, Hanrahan, we'll put a claim in on. Uh, um, maybe Scott Feldman? Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Yeah, the rest of these guys, not... Maybe Matt Albers. Um... And then usually you're not going to see like an A potential prospect down here, but it's always it's always worth a check. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Okay. And that's going to wrap up this episode. So anyway, uh, 50 and 53 so far. You know, way far out of the ALE or yeah AL West. Um, but I believe we're probably not. Yeah, we're 10 and a half back at the wild. Game. If we made a run, we could possibly go for it. But that's you know playoffs aren't really what I was going for this season. I was just kind of you know letting some of the young guys develop in, in the minors for this year and then hopefully bringing some of them up next year. But anyway, it's going to wrap this video, so I thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and so I'm out. Peace.